Hello, I'm Ballast with Parlay 8, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about our flags and how we make them, what we do with them, and a couple of the products that we use, and a little bit of care tips about them. What I'm going to start out with is the flag that's in front of me right now. This is the newest flag I painted, the Blackbeard flag, as we all know. This one is not f completely finished yet. As you can see, the edges have not been sewn. And what we do with those is we actually fold them over and sew the edge all the way around. We also do the spine, which is on this side over here. We fold that over about an inch and put two bronze grommets in there. We like to use those that are a little bit darker color. And if you end up getting sewn grommets, it'll hide the color of the grommet on there uh, because we like to use metal behind our sewn grommets just to give it a little bit of extra strength. Another thing I wanted to go over were the paints that we use. I use a little bit heavier paint. It's a thick body acrylic made by Master's Touch. We're not endorsing them in any way. I just happen to like their paint because they make a thick body acrylic paint. This was the red that I used on the Blackbeard flag and this is the standard white that I use on all the other flags that I make. It's a good paint and I use that because regular fabric paint's a little bit thinner and it is actually acrylic but they they water it down a little bit so I guess that makes it easier to paint on the fabric but it also tends to bleed a little bit more. We also try and use a heavier canvas. We usually use 7 to 10 ounce canvas and we try and find the stuff that has a pretty good thread count on it. That makes it easier on me so they don't bleed and they make makes them look better. Um, also uh, what I also want to talk about is the care of the flag. Now I have another, my personal Blackbeard flag up underneath here. This one's a little bit worn and a little bit faded. It's not as bad as it could be because I actually took this one down and didn't use it as much as I have our other flags, like this particular one, which is loose cannon company flag and before i get into showing this one to you and how faded it's become i want to talk about how why it's rolled up on this pole like this that's the best thing to do for storing a flag you don't want to fold it because folding it may cause will cause creases in the paint and it'll probably crack over time and when you take it down and put it up for the winter or however you store it you want to roll it up like this and i'll show you why because it doesn't crease and it looks nice every time you pull it out if it's not faded like this one <laughs> this flag was flown just about every day for a little over a year maybe a year and a half now and as you can see it faded a little bit that's why i'm advising you to when you don't fly your flag take it down and put it away Otherwise, it's going to fade. It's fabric, it's canvas, it will fade. Uh, that's just a little tip from me to you. Taking care of your flag. Another thing. We hope you liked this week's video, and if you did, please hit the like below. Make sure to join Lashing and Ballast on their next adventure for our weekly updates. And don't forget to hit the subscribe for more content and that bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. Till next time, fair winds and following seas. Those are some things I wanted to go over with you guys. Check us out, like us, subscribe, you know, the routine. And have a great afternoon or day or whatever you're going to do. Um, so what I'm going to start out with is the flag that's in front of me right now. Let's try that again. What I'm going to start out with.